Anime as a medium is able to touch and affect people in so many different ways. Whether it's to inspire, to create, to criticize, to grow and develop. One of these animes is what we're not here to talk about. I give you Hanukkah. Created in 2006 by two studios that you probably never heard of because they never really developed anything afterwards. Uh, details the story of a badly CG woman who lives on a planet who teams up with a boy to defeat aliens from invading. Uh, this feels like something that came out of... Uh, Early days, new grounds, except, you know, a very poor first attempt. In the days where, you know, my immortal and Sailor Moon and the Seven Dragon Balls is, pales in comparison because this was a commercial product. The fact that they actually created this OAB shows how much money, you know, there is in to be an animation. Now, the director that was involved in this product uh, blames the, his poor quality of health at this time, uh, but I'm pretty sure that we can get a little bit more of an effort as far as animation from DeviantArt community members, as well as, you know, first year art class, as far as the designs and even some of these ideas go. Uh, this was his only directorial work, where he did go on to work in animation in Agrogatsuko, which really shows the fact that, you know, show that there's the minimalist animation possible can do well, but this isn't it. Its only name to claim has been, and only been, the fact not only that it's been the worst thing ever, but also it was the first animation that was produced in Adobe Flash. Yes, that's right. From the same, you know, same work that was put into, you know, My Little Pony and most American anim uh, Western animations, we have this piece of trash. There's not really much I can say. The animation is so poor, it actually goes beyond any sort of comprehension. What type of budget and concept, you know, the producers of these studios ended up doing to come out with this final product? Did they, you know, drug the, the animation studio that was involved in this crowd? The fact that there's more than one person working on this product. Wings of Hoyami's was a independent product and there has been many independent products that you know were non-company funding you know for a year since you know the creation of anime calling some with you know high-end product uh, production to simple fan service this was a commercial product people put money in this and i'm sure they've lost a lot of money in this or maybe a little bit maybe the the money went to the director you know through a bad cocaine habit also april fools uh this is our uh the, the next, uh, this is our April Fool's joke for Geek Era Podcast. And as always, this is uh, Sean Alpha until we actually do a proper review um, uh, coming tomorrow. Alright, see you soon. Anime as a medium.